Hi, today we're going to talk about uh, the CPXE and continue on here. We've already given you a short tutorial on assembly, and now we're going to talk about the software. So, uh, the first thing you need software wise is some software. So, that's the website here. Go to the support portal. So, if you go to the www.festo.com and then get to the top, you can just click on support downloads here, which will get you right where you are here. And Type in your product, and in my case, I'm using this particular model right here. Go to the software tab, scroll. So there's Code Assist itself, the 3510 that you need to download and install. And then once you have that installed, uh, you download this package here, which is the support. So again, 3510 supports these two controllers. I'm using this one right here, the CPX ECCC1-PN. And this gives you uh, the base code assist and then the target support patches is basically a, a device profile for the hardware that you would use. And this one here is the device hardware for this, this, this model right here, these two models. So at that point in time, you will have installed 3510.4, which is what this is where I'm starting up. Just follow the defaults, put it into a directory of your choice. And then once you get in here, you go up to the package manager and you'll install that package right there. Just click on install, you'll select the package and away you go. Okay. Um, so that's that. The next thing you need is this piece of software right here, the Festo Field Device Tool, which is uh, in this case version 28357008. Uh, that is this right here I've installed. And the purpose of this tool is to update firmware and, and do other things like that. The, uh, if you read the user manual, Okay, let's, let's go back to the support browser. So if you go to the technical documentation pages, you will find that uh, you've got some user manuals here. So you've got commissioning function and, okay, so the, the manuals you're looking for here, you've got this one right here. Uh, there's version info, 1205. So this one right here gives you this manual right here. And in this manual here, you'll 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 see that this controller here has a default IP address from the factory at 192.168.2.1, and I don't use that in my arrangement here. So what I'm going to do here is change it. So I am going to okay. And this one here, like I said, I'm going to change the IP address to. 1.213. That's my gateway. Rescan it. And now it's that there address. So that was pretty simple. Um, you can do other things like firmware. Uh, okay, the firmware. One of the first things you'd like to do is to make sure you're up to date. That's your responsibility as a programmer. And uh, if you go to the website here, you'll see that there's there's newer firmware 116, there's 1010. This is a bootloader, this one here. This one here is just a firmware. So the Festa field device tries to help you the most to get this done without thinking much. So if you double click down there, you're gonna, or you click click up here for firmware. Oh, wrong one, sorry. You click on either down there, double click, or come up to extras, go to firmware. It'll go scan the internet and see what firmware is out there that's new or up to date. Um, and this right here, the 10110 is available for download, so I'm just going to say download. Yeah, yeah, wait for this update to finish here. Click on download, and you'll see over here it's downloading. Okay. 
Okay, now it's there, it's available. So now we're gonna update it. Let's see what we can do. I know for a fact that the bootloader 116, which I just showed you here, this one right here, that has to be downloaded first because um, it's part of the sequence of operations here. So I'm just gonna try this myself here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I didn't set my network properly, so I just uh, quickly went through to here, properties, this is the thing I'm going on on, and I hard-coded IP address here, and then came out, and then started this back up. Right click, firmware, yes. So at this point, theoretically, I should be able to just download this, but um, it's my understanding from reading the stuff online that the, the bootloader has to be installed first. So I'm gonna cancel this for a second and then I'll manually download this. So I'll go and I'll download this and I need to install it in the appropriate directory. So if you go to extras settings, this right here, this firmware, that, that path right there, copy that, you know, copy and go to here and you'll end up, this is the path right here. And this is the file I just downloaded because I'm so fast. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go restart FFT I'm just gonna show you that if I go back to the firmware directory now, expand this, uh, you'll see here that the file, this one six that I just put there, it says file does not exist on server. Um, that's okay, nothing wrong with that. It just means that you're mainly updating it. It takes Festo a while to get this stuff here set up on their server, so sometimes they release it on their website first. So close this, we'll go back to downloading the firmware here. And like I said, we're, we want to do the firmware on the, do the bootloader first. So we'll wait for this connection to be made here. Okay. And I'm going to say download firmware. You really want to download it? Yep, I do. All right, so now we've successfully downloaded it. Please proceed with the firmware download. Hit okay. We get this nice report here. Go back to here. Just say connect now, successfully connected. Select the firmware and download. Yep. While this is downloading, you can see here that this firmware here, they've got uh, some bug fixes in this firmware update. I'll link. I think the IL link bug fix is basically uh, when IL link is established, is seen by the green LED on the cyclical communication working, and the the bug can be seen in the cyclical data, meaning only bit values are updated in either direction, like inputs and outputs. Uh, any other data type, like byte, word, D word, is not updated in codices. And uh, but at the same time, reading and writing values to the Festo maintenance tool software will work. So this here fixes all that. So that's why you update your firmware right out of the box to get all the bugs out of the system. And we're done that. Nice report again. Close the old report, close this report. Go back to here. Close this now, it'll rescan. And there's the full Monty. Firmware's up to date on the controller.